Hello, Floss Tube. This is Bonnie Jean, also known as Post Muse, and this is Floss Tube number 12, I think. <laughs> I'm never, I always mean to check and I always forget. So I have a little bit of a different setup this week, so I'm a little bit closer to the camera and maybe um, it will be a little bit easier to hear me. I've read some comments where it's hard to hear me. Um, so I've rearranged things a little bit so that um, I'm a little bit closer to the camera. And um, last week I didn't film. Um, like so many people, Daylight Savings Time has, has done a number on me. <laughs> and as you can tell by my eyes, which are all swollen, allergies are also um, kicking in, um, which is, you know, one of the downsides of spring. <laughs> but um, I did get two new starts. Um, this week and well the last two weeks and I wanted to show you I did a lot of stitching however um, well no I shouldn't say that I did a lot I touched a lot of projects I didn't get a lot of stitching done on them but I did touch a lot of projects um, and the first one I wanted to show you was um, this this bells lip I don't speak French so I don't know how to pronounce that properly uh, maybe somebody else um, I should look it up and, and learn how to pronounce it. But being a mail carrier, I pretty much buy anything that has anything remotely letter, letter um, related. So I just got a very quick start on this. Um, not, not, not a lot done. Um, I just got the little, I started here at the top and I got the L and then this, the cursive L and then a little bit of the ribbon that's gonna be going in there. Um, and this fabric is gorgeous. This is the, um, it's Atomic Ranch Fabrics. It's a fabric of the month from my local needlework shop, um, Stitch New England. And this is called Freeze. Um, I'm not pronouncing that right either. And as you can see, it's a 28 count linen. And it's lovely. Um, I think I might like to get some more of this just to have it because it's a very nice neutral. And I'm enjoying the stitch. It's going, it's going to take me a while. There's a lot of fussiness about it because um, there's a lot. There's a lot of the of these colors here. There's two colors here. There's a light. It's still, <laughs> still lighter than I thought it was going to be. So there's a light, and then there's a darker um, beige color. Um, and they're very, they're very fussy. The stitching is very fussy, but um, I'm enjoying it, and I am looking forward to. Um, stitching it every time I pick it up so it's not one of those things that's a, a challenge for me um, and then the other one that I got started was my scattered series this is by um, Shepherd's Bush and it is called scattered scatter kindness a picture that photograph that's not just that lighting this is a very dark photograph um, and I got a good start on it, but um, this one's very different from the other two scattered scattered pumpkins and scattered um, snowflakes, which I still haven't finally finished. Um, my ideas aren't working out, but I'm, I'm still working on it. I'm still making, I'm still gonna give it a try. So this is where I am on scattered kindness. Um, it is very, um, so the letters have all kinds of little flowers and things going through them. So I ended up taking out like that beehive there. I had to take it out about five times because they kept getting it wrong. Um, over here on the S, I had to take out um, the, some stitching over here because the second S wasn't going in properly. Um, so it was a little bit of frustration with this one. And I decided I would put it aside and pick it up next week. Um, so I'm not gonna look at it until next week. Um, so that's, those are my two, my two um, starts for the last two weeks. And then I am continuing on with my special delivery. Those are the little pillows from Pine Mountain and they're one for each month and they're, they're, they are little stamps. So this is March and I cannot tell you how long I stared at this 
image trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Um, I may have had it upside down when I was first looking at it. Is it a bell? Is this something? What is going on with this? So this is for April. So it's April showers. And so it's a little girl with an umbrella and her back is to you. And this is how far I've gotten on it so far. Um, this, I have to say, of all, of all of the special deliveries that I've done, this one is the dullest. Um, I'm, it's just it's just a really boring stitch. There's not a lot going on in it, and um, I'm not super enjoying it. I'll be glad when that one's done, and um, I can start on another one. But um, I, ho I have to get it done before April 1st. Um, so I don't look ahead. Like, I know my spring ones. I looked ahead, and I know what's coming up in May and June. I like both of those. But I have no idea what summer is going to look like. I didn't. I know when I bought them, I knew what they looked like, but then I put them in a bag where I can't see them, so I don't, I don't look at them until it's, so I won't see that for another three months until I open up summer. Um, and then I'm going on to Dreaming Girl, and yes, there's zippering going on because I wasn't prepared as much as I thought I was. So this is the Barbara Anna Designs. And this is the um, girl who is dreaming of all of the seasons. And I like it because of the, the nautical theme going on up here. And um, this has been fun, a lot of fun to stitch. So I'm just pretty much on, working on her face right now. Um, man, I've got to fix the lighting over here. Or I have to film when it's bright outside. <laughs> Not so dark in here. Um... So yeah, she, she's, she's coming along fine. I'm enjoying her. I, I will get up into her hair and in, the next, in the next week. And that'll be fun, getting, moving on on that one. So we had, I mean, this has been a mild, mild winter. However, it's been so wet. It's, it's been raining so much. So um, it's... Just hoping that we get some nice weather coming up. I think this March is going to be colder than the entire winter was, though. And then my next stitch is for the um, Light for All Seasons, which you see behind me here. This is Lizzie Kate, and I am working on spring, which is right there. You can see it right there. And the last time I had this shown, I had gotten just the carrot done. Well, now I have the carrot and a little bit of the flower, the tulip, and then the word spring. I don't know why. This is an easy stitch. I don't know why I don't pick it up more often. I really want it done so that I can get it up there before the end of spring and turn my candle. Which didn't come on, which is surprising because usually it comes on about this time. Then um, I worked a bit on Kitty, uh, Kitty in the Window. This is um, Hand Blessings, and I have one for each season. So this is the spring. These are very small, and they have little charms, but I lost the little charm that came with this. So um, I started looking for a replacement charm. Um, I thought I'd find something at Just Another Button Company. And I did. There's a couple of buttons there, but um, I, I didn't. I didn't pull them because I. I want to make sure I. Have, if I'm going to do buttons on this one, I'm going to do buttons on all of them. So I have to go back through the other three and see what I want to do with them. So I didn't. I mean, this is a very short stitch. So all I've gotten done is a little bit of the window up here, and then a little bit of the tree, and then um, the pine line, and then I got the black cat in. I, that was that's what was my goal was I wanted to get the black hat so right now it looks very very winter <laughs> because of those fir trees in the background however when the bright green comes in and the border is lots of pink and blue it'll be it'll be lovely it'll look very much like spring that's been fun to stitch too next week I hope to go up to my low uh, LNS, my local needle workshop, Stitch New England, pick up my market pre-orders. That'll be, that'll be fun. I have a couple of other things coming in too. And then 
Um, I wasn't super crazy about this the last time I showed it. This is um, Carolyn Manning's Tree Crazy. And I thought it was a little bit flat and, and dull. But I started stitching more of it. And I'm really enjoying it. I promise next week I will have the lighting figured out a little bit better. I just moved the furniture a couple of days ago, so I have to I have to work on this a little bit. So yeah, it's it's getting there. It's getting there. I, I I'm I'm liking it better and better as as I stitch it and I get more colors into it. It's really cute. Oh all right. So much fluffing, fluffing around. And then um, I had started the last time we I filmed, I had just started the garden sampler. And this is by Carriage House Samplings. And I just love, 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 love this design. So that's it right there. And I started down here on the bottom. With the, the soil, I figured I'd start growing my sampler with the dirt, and it, I stitched for a while. And I it's just a slow stitch. I'm just a slow stitcher, but I got um, a little bit more of the soil done, and I got the L, a little bit of the L in, and then I think that's a lemon. However, when I was looking at the chart, it looked an awful lot like a lady slipper, but lady slippers are pink. I know there are some yellow ones, but around here they're pink. And, you know, so I, I guess it could be either. It could be a lady slipper or a lemon. Or maybe it's not even a lemon. I looked. It doesn't tell you what all the, um, what the flowers are on, or the items are on the garden sampler. Um, but it reminded me that in a post from our community page here in, in, on the Cape um, about lady slippers. When I was a kid and we had moved out of the city and moved to the suburbs, I had picked a lady lady slipper for my, my mom because it was such a pretty flower and I brought it home and she was she fell apart she was like oh those are illegal you can't pick those it's illegal it's illegal and for months I thought they were going to come and arrest us because I picked a lady slipper it turns out that it is not technically illegal but if you pick a lady slipper um, it'll never grow back it'll it there's, there's no the bulb won't regenerate like tulips and so forth um, it'll just just never come back so that lady slipper is gone forever so you don't you don't want to pick lady slippers because they are fairly rare and they should just stay where they are and then I worked a little bit more on my floral postcard this is a gorgeous series I really love it so I am doing March which you can see here we still have not seen we have a few jonquils out um, but not there's not a lot of there's not a lot of flowers coming. We have the crocuses, but they're in snowdrops. But that's about it right now. There's not a lot of flowers coming out. I think I stitched on this since the last time I, I spoke, so I have I may not have now that I think of it. Um, I'm gonna put this aside and stitch on it tonight. Sandington, that PBS um, drama that's um, Jane Austen's last uncompleted work and got very it's it's very gossipy and so forth but, but i really enjoy it it starts again the third season starts tonight so i can't wait to watch that i'll stitch this kind of appropriate i think stitching um you know a very old-fashioned vintagey flower thing um so there's my daffodil so waiting to see them here it's probably we won't see them for another couple of weeks and then I did some work on um, Brooks Books Pantry Series. I'm working on the spring, and I, and I'm enjoying it. So I didn't, I didn't, I had the bunny started last week, but I didn't have much done on him. So there's the bunny, and um, the, there's some carrots next to him, and a bouquet of flowers, and there's going to be some a beaded vase up there, and these are terracotta plants with herbs in them and the borders so if you can see it's a very light yellow and then a a, a darker yellow why does that light yellow look weird it does um they're just tedious to stitch uh, 
but this should I should be able to finish this up before the end of spring, no problem. No problem at all. And these I'm going to frame with a, um, a, a cutting board. I want to fray the edges and then attach them with uh, washers and magnets to a cutting board and hang it in my kitchen. And then finally, I did some more work on my cooler um, seasonal cats. And that's this one here. And I was very excited last week to start stitching. Is that? Yeah, that's the spring. I was very excited last week to start stitching a flower. And I did some more work on the flower. Um, I figured for this one, I'm going to work it uh, frame by frame. So each one of these little, these little frames, I think I'm just going to fill them in as I go along. And then I can do the whole middle section. In what, in 2030 <laughs> at this point, this, at this stage. So that's all I've gotten done right there is the flower and the frame, some of the frame around it. There's some um, other uh, tones that have to go in, but it is a delight to stitch on. So as you can see, I touched a lot of projects. I didn't do a huge amount of stitching on a lot of them, but I did touch a lot of projects. Uh, this week I have a fairly easy week at work then the next two weeks one of the carriers is going to be on vacation so I will be covering her route and she has the longest route um, in, in the town so that will be that'll be a little bit difficult and I may be a little bit tired but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to film next Saturday next Sunday we'll see <laughs> we'll see if I don't do it next Sunday I'll definitely do it the following Sunday I won't ever go more than more than two weeks so quick update not not a lot it's not a lot going on um, I did sit down and kit up um, a few of the projects that I have coming in for market and that I hope that I'm I hope I'll have a chance to get up there this week and pick those up and then I did place a small order for a couple of things that I couldn't get at my local needle workshop I found a, another local needle workshop but it's in Illinois <laughs> so I ordered stuff from them and I'll talk more about that when I when it comes in so I can I can show it and I kit those things up today and got them all ready so when they come I can just get started probably not start them all but at least have them all so I can show pictures of what I'm doing in the fabric that I'm using so that's about it for floss tube I hope you're all um, enjoying these longer days that we have and well they're not really any longer but they're lighter <laughs> so the lighter days and um, you're not all suffering from allergies like me <laughs> that you have these some some respite from uh, the sneezing and the itchy eyes and and sore throat but I will see you all next week I hope and thank you very much for watching bye